We're working on activity 5.2, terminating the optical cable with an SC connector. This SC connector, the first step that you want to process, uh, especially with the CTEC, to understand what cable to select. So the first question they're going to ask you is, they're going to give you two cables, okay? And these two cables are, they're asking you to terminate a fiber optic cable with an ST connector. Remember I told you, ST, ST connect, connector is a single term, terminology, single terminal. So this ST connector needs to be terminated by which cable? Oh, obviously it's going to be this one. Okay, so we're going to select this fiber optic cable and we're going to now decide that we're going to terminate this cable. Our first step to terminate this cable is we're going to take our our crimper. We're going to put that knot in first. Why do we put the knot in there? The knot is going to be because we're going to this, air, this, this is called Aramis. This Aramis is inside the cable, so we don't want this Aramis to pull back. So we're going to put a knot in here, and we're going to strip this back. All this back here, just like this, we'll take this right here, and we're going to strip it back with this. Strip it back, just like this. Can we okay. take the whole section at one time? We can take the whole section with this, this one. Okay. Now, the next step is what we're going to work on now. So this is our first step, is to get this cladding this outer case out of it and we're going to have about this is about six millimeters right here okay of actual what we call buffer and inside that buffer is what the magic is is the cable of the fiber inside of here we don't see the fiber yet but we have a cladding we have a buffer and we have an aramis and we want to tie this knot like this that's our first step Okay, let's go to the second step. Our second step now, we're going to cut this down. And what we've done here is that we've cut off, if you notice, there's no Aramis. Turn it a little bit this way here. Now I can see, see that. We, we've, we've cut that Aramis off. Right. We have uh, exactly about one centimeter, two cent uh, this is two, about two to three centimeters total. And if you can see the fiber exposed there, can you see it? No, it's too invisible, but well, I know. It, it's there. Okay, it's there. It's it's about it's about this long, okay? Oh, all right. And we're going to now we're going to take our end, okay? And this is the SC connector. See that how that works? And we're going to slide this boot down our jacket. Okay, we're going to slide it down. Without the, breaking the without fiber. breaking the fiber, and we're going to also slide this down onto the onto the fiber, and see if we like that. Is if this going to be our pre-fit first? It's a pre-fit. It's a pre-fit, and it's still tied like this. Okay. okay. We're going to pre-fit this now. Once we pre-fit it, we we decide that looks good, and we have about um, maybe about one about a quarter centimeter. See that? Can you see the fiber there? Yeah, I can actually right okay, there. I see can. that. Okay, so we have about about that much hanging out on the end. Okay, and we slide it down. Okay. Once we decide that that fits good, so we've got this boot down on there. Right. We've got this connector on there. We we kind of pre-fitted it. Okay. Okay. What's our next step? Most important. So we're gonna glue it. Okay. All right. We're gonna glue this. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take and we're going to wash this with our our alcohol wipes, okay? We take an alcohol wipe. We're going to wipe this down. Okay? okay. Wipe that down and then we're going to take and we're going to put what we call our Loctite. This is our glue, okay? And we put it We're going to take about two drops and put it in here. All right. Okay, and let it sit. We're going to put it over here on our on our board. All right. Let it sit. Then we're going to take our primer, and we're going to run our primer along this fiber. Okay. On, on both sides. Both sides. Okay. About how far? About half a quarter inch on each side. Yeah, about a quarter inch on each side. Okay. All right. So what we have is um, we have our glue in here, about one or two drops, and we have our primer on the fiber. Okay. 
And on the and on the glass itself. On the glass itself. Okay. And we're gonna slide that down. All the way down now. We're gonna fit that back on there. We're gonna slide our boot back up. Okay. And we are ready to go. Okay. I got a question. How do I know that this is slid all the way back? Because I'll just see uh, how much will I see exposed out of the end of that. About exposed, you want to have about. Um, see how much is there. So you want about half of that coming out. Hold, hold still there for a second. You want about half of that. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so our next step after that is that we've got that going, and what we've done is that we've what we call cleaved it, where we've taken this off and cleaved this, okay? Now, when you do the cleaving process, this is the most important. So you've got this glued down, just like that. That's how your end's gonna look. That's glued down. But you're gonna have some fiber hanging out here, uh -huh. okay? So your fiber's hanging out there. All right. Now. Let me have it for a second here. Yeah, sure. Okay, so. So now you've gotta cleave this thing. And the cleaving process is basically one of the most important steps in the fiber optic cable. So you're just gonna just hit, hit it like, just cleave it just a little bit, just a little bit of touch like this. And when you cleave it, you wanna pull that fiber up. Now, what do you do with that fiber, right? You put it on this little pad. Put on this little pad, All right? Every time. You're wearing your glasses, you're wearing your goggles, and you're gonna cleave it. Now, my recommendation to you is to practice cleaving about probably 30 cables. Have your instructor give you about 30 cables like this that are just cables that he doesn't use anymore. Uh -huh. Practice cleaving. To practice cleaving, there's a, there's, a, there's a tool in your kit, looks like this. Okay. It's a puck. You can put the fiber optic cable in there and you can have it stick up, right? Okay. And you can cleave that off and practice cleaving, okay? You're gonna ask me later, what, what, what is it, well, how do I know if I've cleaved it good? How do I know? Let me just show you real quick. When we look through, and we're gonna see this in a minute, but when we, when we look through your scope, you're gonna see like that. Mm -hmm. That's a good cleave, okay? You wanna see a lousy cleave? Let me show you a lousy cleave. This is scratched. Okay. You want to see a cracked one? Here's one that you cracked. Where's the crack? Okay. Oh, I can see, see the crack. Yeah. See, you know why you did that? Because you didn't cleave it right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know how you didn't cleave it right? Because you didn't pull up the fiber. All right. When you cleave it off, you need to pull it up. Okay. Right. Pull it up. Okay. That's the most important part of. Uh, of the whole technology of making a fiber optic cable. And the other part of it, okay, once you've done that and you've cleaved it, which you've done here with this one, now you have to polish it. So this is what we call air polish. So you're taking this and you're just air polishing it, okay? All right. Air polishing, it's kind of like sandpaper. So you're kind of like polishing this thing down, okay? Circle eight, is that what it says? Cir circle eight, whatever you want to do right here, circle eight, just, uh, okay. just air polish this thing. And you start out with the green one, is the green one the... Green one is the air polish, yeah. Oh, this green. is air polish, okay? This is the, the basic one. Maybe you can get away with just doing it that way. When, you, when we're Later on, we're going to show you how to, how to watch and look and take a look at that. But take a look at this one. This is the one where someone put the glue on too much, okay? That's called trace of resin. Okay. All right. See that all blocked up? That's when you put those drops of glue in there. Wasn't very good, right? So you put too much glue. Two drops is about all you need. Yeah, and it's you just put it down there. Did the instructor say to us earlier that you put a couple of uh, drops of glue until you see it coming out of the end? Yeah, there? that's all you got to do. All right. See a little bit there, okay? All right. So then you finally end up with a good cable, and you're going to do that on both ends, see? And this is your good cable. This is ST to ST. All right. Single tip. Remember, I told you, single tip connector. This is one of the, the most common cables you're going to run into in the industry. This is a single tip fiber optic cable. This is going to be um, a, a multi-mode cable, OK? And this cable is a, what we call a patch cable. OK. OK, so let's move on now 
and let's go ahead and try to test this cable. All right. 